Hello everyone, thank you for coming. Uh, my name's Aidan, I'm Technical Director at Hull Culture Measure Theatre and Halls. Obviously we're at Hull New Theatre today. We all work across two buildings, Hull New Theatre and City Hall. Has anyone been to any shows here before? Yeah, great. Anyone been to City Hall before? Excellent, so you know a bit about what we do from an audience perspective. Today's all about showing you a bit more of what we do of our normal jobs day to day for us. Sound, lighting, stage, video, and what, how we make that work in the two buildings. We're only going to be here today, but I will be talking a little bit about City Hall as well. I'll show you the next three years to control some of the moving lights on stage and see actually what you're doing. So, have any of you had any theatre knowledge before or anything? Yeah. Yeah? So, basically, this is our front of house position. Sound's normally there, and Alex is here. Whether it be in a touring show or because touring shows bring their own desk. Or being uh, our desk, we always use this desk, position. You've got so everything's so already hard in. in. All they have to um, do is bring us the desk, we can plug it in, and the goods to go. Whatever show it is. Um, so if you'd like to come over here. In the olden days, um, it, was just, it was all analog. Uh, whereas now we've all got you know, different layers and all sorts. So, so what we're going to do is, is actually do multiple things. Because we've got a ballet on over the weekend. Right. The ballet's got their lights in now, so I'm going to go from uh, there, light in there, yeah. I'll and see if he's got his show here. Um, and our other sound technician actually might come on and he might have it set up a different way. Um, and that's all done by, we've got our little mm. filters on the desk. Yeah, so it's completely now. flexible to how we can have it set up. Um, I'm just trying to get some light on for Sorry. Anyway. <laughs> We've never seen it before, and the opening night, we've got to get it right for you all first time, which is quite amazing. So this is Darren Brown, the showman that we've just had. So every show comes with it, so Act 1, it tells you the queue number. You know when I said downstairs there's somebody telling us of a headset. So they'll tell us queue number, so we'll say Q32, so we know oh, we've just had Q32. So they want us to over two seconds. Yeah. We went up to into the 60, 70 degrees. Is that physically, when it comes to intervals, someone come up and sat up here to make sure nothing set on fire, and we had to leave the building for 20 minutes just so we could cool down. Wow. That's some of the levels you go to. Was was spotting in our socks and boxes. <laughs> so, was up in the lighting box, and it was 119. I plug into 119, come out the DMX splitters, and that's how I've got control of them. These are the individual power units, so as you can see these lights that are on, that's all my intelligent lighting that's on stage now that I put for the ballet. So if the lights are on, that means it's hard power. I can't send dimmable power to intelligent lights because the second you, you try putting dimmable power through, it just fries them. Dimmable, intelligent lights like the power 100% straight away. So because I've flipped these on, we just that simple touch and switch. We've done the dimmer room. Oh. Yeah, that's all part of life. Yeah. Yeah. That used to be the office, and now it's just like a dumping area. <laughs> I'm taking your group. Um, I think you've got Sammy in that lot. Have I? Yeah, I think so. Right. Okay. Hello. I'm Alan, stage manager. So any questions you want to go shout them out and try and answer them. As Ben was saying, he does, you, know, you can break it down, but it was like if it's a truck, it was just wheeling. In one way, I didn't mind it. If you don't fly, you need a hand on the stage. You pull the scene, and then 
happy in five minutes and then go and get a man on stage if they're busy. Now, the flyman's up there. So, wardrobe's a, a, a busy, busy world for us. And I was just saying to the other group, they were asking like, why don't, why don't the tours tour all of their own team? But you've got to imagine that every single person that you tour, a, you have to pay them. Oh, we got we no, it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing that absolutely blew my mind is I thought these columns were piled into the ground and they, yeah. they sink, but they don't. They all collapse into that little donut that you see. Mm -hmm. It all just interlocks, and each one can hold about four tons of weight, so that front lift can move about 20 tons by itself. Where does this one park? Park? So yeah, really clever system. Um, and where it used to take about four hours to do an orchestra pick, we can do the small pick about half an hour now. So, and that will change pretty much every week, we'll go from small pick to go pick. Not as well as Well, we have nothing, so. <laughs> This is our studio, multi-use room, and that. so we're directly underneath the stalls at the moment. The sound and lighting desk are literally about here. Are right with us. You can tell from the slope of the room that that is the slope of the stalls. Um, this gets used quite a lot. If you've got a massive orchestra or a band, they'll use this as their break space. Or is that a got... newer version of my desk? Yeah. A much newer version than my desk. Hello, hello, hello. 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 All right, I'm Jacob. All right. Jacob. Um, so this is our nice Yamaha CL5, um, it's our in-house desk, we've got another LS9 outside the hall. Um, but